our journey started in Dundee um, at Nine Miles Hospital. Um, we had to go for IVF and um, the IVF was successful and we found out that we were pregnant after 14 days. And as far as I knew as a first time mother, the pregnancy was going fine, everything was well. Um, everything just seemed to be fine. For our 20 week scan, which is the anomaly scan, we got taken into a room and that's when we got told that Jessica had spina bifida. So we just heard spina bifida. And when you hear spina bifida, you take all the negatives. So we are thinking, oh my God, my baby's got spina bifida. Oh my God, my baby's not gonna be able to walk. Oh my God, my baby's not gonna be able to do this, not gonna be able to do that. I was overwhelming, really overwhelming. It was like, you know, the, you just wanted the whole, like a hole to open up and for you to fall in this hole. And I was distraught. I mean, I was really upset and I thought it's my fault. Um, I didn't do the right thing. I've not taken enough folic acid or I've done all the wrong things. Um, but the field medicine team reassured me it's not anybody's fault. It's a one in 1,000 chance. We didn't know for sure what kind of spina bifida she was going to have until she was born. So the doctor at the Sick Kids Hospital, Mr Tullier, he told us to go and have a look at the Spina Bifida Association website. We were introduced to Becca and Becca's became our caseworker. Um, Becca's lovely. She's helped us a lot. The group has been really good and the fact that they've introduced us to people that have got spina bifida has helped with the accommodation at the hospital, giving us information about um, how to fill out forms, how to seek medical attention if we need it, um, just to listen to us, just to be there. They have given me the support going from being distraught, being upset, being feeling alone, um, feeling like the only one in the world that's got a child with spina bifida to giving me the confidence to be able to talk about the spina bifida and knowing that just because Jessica's got spina bifida doesn't mean that she isn't going to be able to walk. She's become her own little person. She's not categorised now as a baby with spina bifida. She is a person. She's Jessica. She's a baby that has spina bifida that can overcome anything that she puts her mind to. And I think the Spina Bifida Association has taught us that. But Jessica could turn out to be a surgeon that's dealing with people that have spina bifida. So it's given me hope that I know she's going to be fine. We've still got a long path to go, but um, I think she is doing really well and I think she's going to flourish and be the person that she wants to be. So, but I'm biased, I'm a mother. So. <laughs>